Welcome to the Alaska WIC program. WIC is the special supplemental food program for women, infants, and children. WIC is funded by the United States Department of Agriculture. What is a fruit and vegetable voucher, FVV? An FVV, or fruit and vegetable voucher, is a voucher, sometimes called a warrant or a check, for a set dollar amount that WIC clients can use to buy fresh fruits and vegetables. How long are the vouchers valid? Fruit and vegetable vouchers are valid for only 30 days from the date of issue. Vendors have 60 days of the first valid date printed on the warrant to deposit them in their account. Where can an FVV be used? FVVs can be redeemed at authorized farmer's market farm stands during the farmer's market season, June 1st through October 31st. FVVs may also be used at any WIC approved vendors at any time. What can be purchased? Eligible foods may not be processed or prepared beyond their natural state. Most whole or cut fresh fruits and vegetables may be purchased with a few exceptions. The following items are not allowed. Dried fruits or vegetables, fruit leathers or fruit roll-ups, varieties of white potatoes or products, example red, gold, purple, etc., and no product that has white potato in it. Yams and sweet potatoes are allowed. Edible blossoms and flowers, such as squash blossoms, but broccoli, cauliflower, and artichokes are allowed. Juice or cider, herbs or spices, vegetable grain pasta or rice mixtures, fruit nut mixtures, meats, seafood, eggs, ornamental and decorative fruits and vegetables, such as chili peppers on a string, garlic on a string, gourds, painted pumpkin, fruit baskets, and items such as blueberry muffins and other baked goods. Fruit and vegetable vouchers are commonly referred to as FVVs. WIC participants receive FVV warrants year-round in the amounts of $6, $10, or $15. You must be an authorized WIC vendor or a Farmer's Market Nutrition Program authorized farmer to accept a WIC FVV warrant. Well, good morning. What do you got there? Only accept FVVs for eligible fruits and vegetables. Three and eight is 11 and six is 17. 17 dollars please. Okay. If a WIC participant goes over the dollar amount on the FVV, politely inform the participant that they can choose to pay the difference. Six, so we have 16. I need another dollar please. If participants pay the difference with their own funds, enter the total purchase price of the fruit and vegetable transaction or enter the maximum value of the FEV, whichever amount is less. This amount will be entered into the actual amount of sale box on the face of the voucher. If you enter an amount over the maximum value displayed on the face of the check, your check will be paid at the maximum value. You cannot give change for the fruit and vegetable voucher. Clients may combine multiple vouchers in a single transaction. If your community charges tax on food, only the self-paid portion would be taxed. I need your ID, please. Check the picture or signature ID of the participant or alternate. The FEV must have the word alternate printed on it for someone else other than the participant to use it. Write in the actual amount of the sale on the FEV before the participant proxy signs it. The total purchase price amount entered on the face of the FEV must never exceed the not to exceed amount printed on the FEV. Would you sign that, please? The FEV must be signed by the participant proxy in the presence of the cashier or farmer. Hi, I need to return these potatoes. Oh, they weren't good? I'm sorry. If a participant returns items purchased with a fruit and vegetable voucher and demands cash back, refuse to do so. This is a serious violation. Would you like a bag of carrots instead? Although a damaged product may be exchanged. Things to remember. Only accept fruit and vegetable vouchers within the valid dates, 30 days, printed on the FEV. FEVs may only be accepted at farmers markets during valid market days, June 1st through October 31st, but can be accepted at any time at any WIC approved vendors. No substitutions, cash, credit, refunds, or exchanges are allowed. Clients may combine multiple vouchers in a single transaction. Allow WIC participants to pay the difference if the total of their fruit and vegetable purchase is over the amount printed on the FVV. Clients may use cash, check, credit or debit cards, or food stamps, EBT card, if the farmer vendor has this ability. 
check the picture or signature ID of the participant or alternate. The FEV must have the word alternate printed on it for someone else other than the participant to use it. Write the actual amount of sale on the voucher before the participant or alternate signs it. The total purchase amount entered on the FEV must never exceed the amount printed on the FEV. Do not charge nor collect sales taxes in conjunction with the voucher portion of any transaction. Payment for the excess portion over the FEV amount is subject to any tax which applies to non-WIC purchases of fruit and vegetables. Getting paid. Stamp your farmer number in the appropriate area on the fruit and vegetable voucher before redeeming it. See the vendor stamp box on the sample FVV. If the wrong total amount of sale or transaction date is written on a WIC warrant, follow these steps to correct the error. Draw a single line through the incorrect amount to ensure they are still readable. Clearly write the correct amount next to it in ink. Store personnel or the farmer must initial the corrected amount on the warrant. If an incorrect date is written on the warrant, use the same procedure to correct it on the spot. Once the FVV has been properly corrected, it may be stamped with the farmer number and deposited at the farmer's bank. Banking Procedures All authorized farmer vendors must have a bank checking account in order to deposit the accepted fruit and vegetable vouchers. Deposit all vouchers within 60 days of the first valid date printed on the FVV. Vouchers deposited after the 60-day period will not be paid. You cannot sign a fruit and vegetable voucher over to another person or entity. Sales from farmer's market deposited after November 30th will not be paid. FVVs are screened by the WIC banking contractor prior to payment. During this process, the WIC banking contractor verifies that FVVs are error-free the vendor's account is automatically credited with the purchase price on the FVV. FVVs are within allowable limits based on the printed dollar value. WIC authorizes the WIC banking contractor to return FVVs unpaid to the farmer vendors with the reason stamped on the FVV if there are errors on the FVV. Some errors can be corrected, but there are some errors that cannot be corrected. For more information, refer to the WIC training manual or contact WIC vendor staff at 907-465-3100. The Alaska WIC program is administered by the Alaska Department of Health and Social Services. It receives funding from the United States Department of Agriculture. This video produced by the WIC program and the Alaska Department of Health and Social Services.